let's look at the techniques for stock control there are very many techniques that are used for controlling stock to ensure that there is no overstocking or understocking so there are very many and the first one is abc analysis also known as classification or selective control we have the two bin system we have the order cycling system we have the determining stock levels we have the economic order quantity technique or the reorder quantity technique we have the inventory turnover ratios technique perpetual inventory levels technique just in time purchasing technique we have the ved analysis which is vital essential and desirable analysis and lastly we have the materials requirement planning technique which is also known as mrp so we are going to look at these techniques in details one by one and we are going to start with the abc analysis or classification or selective control technique This is an analytical approach that is called ABC analysis that tends to measure the significance or the importance of each item of inventories in terms of its value. So they are classified into three category A, category B, category C according to their importance. So the highest value items are classified as A items and would be under the tightest control since they are the most important items the a items so they must be controlled like tightly then c items represent the least value items that would be under simple control since they are not that important though they are necessary but they are not that important so they are under simple control then for the b items they fall in between a and c so these fall in between these two categories and they require reasonable attention for management their the attention should be reasonable but not that tight like the ones for a items yeah so the abc analysis a is for the highest then uh, the highest value then for b it's for those items that are in the middle they do not have the highest and they are not the least important so they are there in the middle then for the c items they are the least important but they are important so they are classified according to their value a b and then c let's look at the steps that are involved in implementing the abc analysis the first step is to classify the items of inventories you have to determine the expected use in units and then the price per unit of each so that you can be able to classify them according to their importance so the first step is classify the items of inventories the second step is to determine the total value of each item by multiplying the expected units by the units price then the third step is to rank the items in accordance with the total value giving the first rank to the item with the highest total value and so on then the next step is to compute the ratios or percentages of number of units of each item to the total units of all items. Then the last step is to combine items on the basis of their relative value to form these three categories. The one with the highest value or the highest percentage will take A. The second one will take B then the last one will take the c position so those are the steps that are involved
when implementing the ABC analysis technique. Yeah, so that is all about the ABC analysis technique. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.